All right, it's eight o'clock in the morning. I am leaving my motel in Ash Fork. So this was my fourth night and every night in every hotel, I have used my sleeping bag because it's just, it's been cold in the room and there's not enough blankets. So I uh, feel good about having that sleeping bag with me. So I've got just a little bit of Route 66 through Ash Fork and then I have to be on I-40 all the way into Flagstaff, checking traffic here. And uh, the only time I'll be able to get off of I-40 is through the towns. So the next town is Williams, about 17 miles. And uh, I'm kind of excited about it because there's an actual grocery store. I'll be able to pick up some vegetables. Um, but this is, uh, this could be a tough day on I-40. Come on, Myrtle, let's go. All right, I'm just getting onto I-40. It's already been a bit of a climb. And the, uh, at least the entrance, all right, I'm getting some hawks is uh, very smooth. We'll see what happens when we actually get on I-40. And not just the uh, entrance. Because if it's like this, I'm going to be fine. Boy, I really was a nervous wreck after seeing the condition of the shoulder into Ash Fork yesterday. And uh, I have to be on I-40 for 238 miles. And to be on a rumble strip for 238 miles, that's a nightmare. But if it's like this, I'll be fine. So I'm on I-40 coming into Williams. And I have been climbing ever since I started this ride out of Ash Fork. So I've got 2,000 feet of climbing already for the day. I'm 15 miles into the ride. And uh, this might be the top of the climb, I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna get off here in Williams. It's an actual grocery store here I'm pretty excited about. And I can get off I-40 and I Route 66 through the town, and then I have to get back on I-40 the other side of town. All right, coming into the historic town of Williams, 1881, gateway to the Grand Canyon. I think Highway 89 junctions here, and that is the highway to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Uh, look at this guy. He's got a gas-powered bike pulling a trailer. Can you see that sign? <laughs> Bikes are permitted above the snow. <laughs> Isn't that something, huh? Still climbing. Nice reveal. Resting another hill. And I still haven't seen the Continental Divide. Ah, oh, isn't that pretty? So much snow up here.
right, so I am in Flagstaff, Arizona. I actually got here yesterday. It was a pretty big day for me. I did, I think, 51 miles and 2,800 feet of climbing. It was very cold, very wet and windy, and the winds were very strong and expected to be stronger today. So I decided to take a rest day. So I'm here at a day's end. When I got here, my trailer and my trike and everything was covered in mud and muck. Yesterday was the first day that I had ridden on I-40 for the whole day. And, you know, it was a lot of snow, big snow banks, very cold. And there was quite a bit of snow runoff. And so I was riding through water um, a lot yesterday. And this was the first time that I had my trike and my trailer be such a mucky mess. I had, I had mud all over everything, including my jacket, my Garmin, my mirror, my handlebar bag, the rear rack bag, of course, both sides of my trike and all over the trailer. And I have a feeling that there's just a lot of wind turbulence from the semis. Uh, going by so closely. And so I think some of the water spray got pushed back on to me as I was riding. The hotel gave me a bucket and showed me where there's a water spigot. So I was able to wash it off. Actually, and it washed off very, very easily. But uh, yeah, yesterday was a big day. I, um, I made a mistake. I thought that I was going to be climbing over the Continental Divide. I had never even heard of the Arizona divide, which is what I ended up riding over 7,335 feet. And um, it was kind of a big milestone for me because I thought I would be then going down to warmer uh, overnight temperatures and maybe I could even start camping. But it turns out I still have a few more days before I'm going to be going over the Continental Divide and back up to 7,200 feet. Uh, looking forward to that ride in New Mexico. I think that's maybe three or four days from here. And then, um, so here I am in my hotel. I got here yesterday, so it's really a wreck. And Myrtle did not fit in the room. This is a day's in, and the door is on the inside. It's in a hallway, so the doors are much too narrow for the trike. And so uh, she is in a secure space. She's even got a camera on her. And you can see I've got my laundry drying. I took my clothes into the shower with me, and they'll be dry and um, ready to put on again tomorrow. So, all right, you guys, um, thank you for watching, following along, and welcome to Flagstaff.